Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn about working with the material library. We're going to learn specifically how to assign material to your model. Let's take a look at the quick access toolbar at the top of the screen. This is the material drop down menu. If you don't see this menu, you can click this double arrow at the end of the quick access toolbar and then just select it from this list materials. Let's also select the Materials Browser. Make sure both of these are checked. I'm going to collapse the search field here to free up some room. I've also unselected some other options that I don't need right now, such as Open, Save, Undo, and Redo, etc. Let's take a look at the Materials drop-down menu. Currently, we only see Generic, and then under that, Favorites. Autodesk Material Library, and Venter Material Library. The favorites are selected. You might be wondering what the difference between these last two is. The Inventor Material Library is used only by Inventor, but the Autodesk Library is used across many Autodesk products like Inventor, AutoCAD, Fusion, and so on. Let's select the Autodesk Material Library. Now go back to the Materials menu. As you can see, the choices of materials are significantly more. I'm going to select Aluminum, for example. And the visual appearance of our part in the graphic area changes to reflect this material selection. Next to the Materials menu, we see that we have Satin selected. 